Also, a large percentage of my viewers who watch my video isn't subscribed to me. So if you're one of them, please subscribe. So to make a fireball, we need we need to make our fireball first. So let's first make our pot. Let's name this fireball. Okay? That should be easy, right? We can name that fireball. Name it whatever you want to. Let's make that neon. Add some orange. Yeah, that's kind of looking nice. So now what we need to do this do now is scroll down, anchor it, make sure can collide is set to false, and drag it into replicated storage. You could drag it to anywhere, replicated storage or replicated first. But I'll choose replicated storage. Now, in starter GUI, you want to click on that plus button. Add local script. And the first variable we're going to be making is uh, the user input service. So let's name it user input service game get service user input service. Now Let's put on user input service dot input began connect. Now what we're making right here is our key bind. So let's make our first argument. It's the input. So we're getting what the button the player pressed. And let's go game process oh oh yeah i forgot sorry 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 uh inside this yeah i want to add a function so user input service connect function input oh what, what have i done wrong this time oh i think i uh placed it wrong Yeah, okay. Oh. Um. oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. So, uh, here's the problem. Sorry, uh, I just forgot. So, I'll put this in, uh, put this in brackets. I think hit enter. And then let's make an if statement. If input dot key code equals enum dot key code dot let's choose a key bind where it will play. I'm thinking let's go with Q. Then, now we're going to make something in replicator storage. Let's make an ev an event. So it's going to be a remote event. Name it. Uh, what should we name it? Let's call it Fireball. So now, let's also add a cooldown to it. Local. Cool down equals two just two local db which stands for debounce is equal to false so if if false oh wait whoops if db e, db equal to false then db equals to true db equals to true 
then uh, let's also get the firewall game dot replicated storage dot fireball oh we don't know which fireball we're talking so this is going to be called the fireball event they make make sure they're not the same name they must be different then colon fire server because this is local and we don't want the fireball to fire locally now to and add the cool down it will wait for two seconds so wait cool down so if you can choose how long it is but it's in seconds then under it db equals to false and then we will be able to fire this again we'll change it to one so it's fast now let's make a script now we also want to get a fireball event so game dot replicated storage dot fireball event dot on server event connect function player and now we're gonna make we're going to find the character of the player so local char equals player dot character so we just got the character make sure the character is spelled correctly so now uh, we're going to game dot replicated storage dot fireball clone so we clone this, we're not, do it. we just cloned it, now we're going to change its parent. So its parent's going to be, it's going to be the uh, player. So game, oh okay, no, no, no. We're supposed to make this a variable. So local fireball equals that. Fireball dot parent equals to char fire fireball dot anchor anchored equals false. Now let's make another one so the fireball would be able to move. So we need to make the fireball C frame this. So uh Fireball dot C frame equals char dot humanoid root part dot C frame. Now, if we test this, Sorry for the slow load, but the slow game, okay? But now if we press E, it's not firing. What should be the problem? Oh, it's, yeah, it's spawning. You can see uh, we just left it unanchored. We need it unanchored for a reason. So we made it Q. So if we press Q, it fires. But uh, what we also want it to do is move forward to where the player is facing. So then we're going to make a new variable, which is going to be the body velocity. I think that's what it is. Instance dot new body yeah body velocity comma fireball 
So what we did here is parent it, parent this new body velocity to fireball. Now if we go body velocity dot max force equals vector three dot new math math dot huge math dot huge is infinite. So you want to write this three times. Now body velocity dot velocity equals I okay control C so we're gonna use the C frame of this dot look vector so we can get where is this part facing at? Equal, no, no, times how fast you want it to be. So let's say 100 should be enough. Now if we play this, Okay, well, I'm definitely no, never mind. Okay, looks like we're done. Looks like let's press Q. Look, it's firing, and that's how you make it. Like so, it fires. Like, if that's all you want to know, that's all. Now it's doing what it wants us to do. But uh, here's the problem. Like, we want it to despawn, because if we go right here, inside our humanoid, we got a lot of fireballs. So to make sure it despawns, they all despawn, we must destroy the object. So go back to script, wait five seconds, fireball, destroy. We're not destroying this because this is already, this will already be destroyed because the fireball, the, this body velocity is already apparent on fireball. So it will destroy anything that that's inside the fireball, any children. 